I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. All right, going for the early takedown, he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground. And that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Effective strike there by Chor. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Now connects with a right. Went for the inside leg kick. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Big punch from the clinch. The right hand just misses. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Right, so perhaps he will go for another take down here. He does, and beautiful execution to get the fight to the match. I mean, you know what he's going to do. Yeah. You know that he's going to take you down over and over again. It is on you to stop him. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by the Korean Super Bowl. Both fighters get up now. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Choi gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows around the guard. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. And he landed the right hand there. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. His misses are entertaining. Straight right is there. Good strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. All right, so he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. We'll see what he can do with it. Time is perfect. This will leave an impression in the judge's mind. And as his opponent, you need to get back to your feet right away because you can also sway the judges by getting back up to your feet and maybe exploding with one last flurry. 
he'll engage in a single collar tie. Straight right, he misses. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner. Right. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Oh, big kick lands flush. Right hand on point. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Well, lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice job by him there to move into half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. And he is back up to his feet. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, take down the tip after take down the tip, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Oh, Barraz has got full mount now. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Choi's shot is blocked. Nice leg kick. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. And there's a takedown attempt. Series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Nice punch there. Doubling up on the jab. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make you pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish this fight. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Oh! He's, a, he's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Big kick lands. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. 
All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love it. Oh, he just heard it. He just heard it. Just missed with the left there. was looking forward to the stool in the next round. Now he won't see it. What a result here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 26 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. 